All right. Turn six. Uh, we took Tabrithia with minor casualties. I've changed my mind. I was thinking of splitting my armies up, trying to do a double expansion, but I think it's actually more important to just not fail right now. So I'm combining my armies. Uh, we're sending all 24 of my remaining uh, varmints here into Kopos. They should wipe out these deer tribe very easily, and then we'll decide whether I want to go down into barbarians or up into slingers and war elephants. The war elephants can trample me. Uh, they will get poisoned. Not sure. The war elephants might be able to crush their way through my stink environments here pretty effectively. So I'm leery of that, but the varmints may also be able to hurt the elephants since they won't have a whole lot of armor, I don't believe. Um, the lesser heads get two attacks. The great head gets an attack. They'll rack up a lot of poison damage. They may be able to take the elephants down. I'm just not sure, to be honest. Um, if I was like a real uh, a, a, a real uh, pro gamer, Dominion's Five player, I might uh, I might do some tests, but I'm not going to do that uh, because I'm too lazy. So we're going to search for magic sites real quick. There, we're still recruiting one uh, dude and one chick per turn and a bunch more stinking varmints just because i feel like i might need some replacements uh i've got some some more in here so i can send out another gang next turn and that's basically it research is still very low hasn't really gone up the last few turns because i've been doing things with my mages but it st should start going up again now since i have uh mages coming out here i also want to take wood of many paths so that i can build a lab there so that's probably probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take these armies, try to take out Solian, and then move troops up to attack Wood of Many Paths and uh, build a lab there as well. Start pumping out mages. And we'll say, see uh, how I do in turn 7. I'll see you then. Okay, turn 7. So first of all, we have a famine in Hydrangeas. Yes, we've lost a bunch of population and a little bit of our growth scale. Uh, that's unfortunate. It's not the worst thing that could happen, and hopefully the plague will end soon. We should be alright. And then in Kopos, uh, we got some nature gems, we got a unit cursed, but I don't care. And then we got a bunch of other gems as well, plus 36 gold. So that's nice. In Kopos, by the way, we took it with two casualties. So fantastic. No magic site in Hexwoods, but we have started recruiting mages. I have stopped recruiting farmers' husbands. I have six now. That should be enough. Uh, instead, I've gone back to double recruiting mages, so my research should start working its way up again pretty quickly. Um, I still don't have any dominion over here, however, so these ladies are not helping me as much as they theoretically could. As soon as I've got Big Bill back, I'll set, start these guys preaching to spread dominion over here. <clears throat> now, I'm not attacking. I'm not taking a province this turn, and that's because I want to take Solian, but I want as many troops as possible to take Solian. So I'm taking a turn to search Kopos for magic sites. I'm moving up 10 more troops with Tarpeia up here. Uh, and I'm going to uh, bring those guys in against Solian. Then the leftovers will also take Wood of Many Paths. And then I'll be able to build a lab in Wood of Many Paths and then a wood in Greendale. Um, woods are just really, really important to me. I have found my first opponent. And in fact, it's my nation. Good old Noose is over here. So that's fucking scary. Now the good thing is, they shouldn't uh, have any troops that can really fight their way through me. Unless they've taken a poison resistance, bless. Uh, but none of their troops natively have poison resistance, so I can actually beat, I think, pretty much all their troops just by spamming uh, varmints. Varmints can take them until they get some magic online. Now, uh, very regrettably, they actually have magic, uh, un unlike me. I don't really have magic, so my only hope is to get those boars online as fast as possible. And to do that, of course, I need an Earth Nature Mage, and I need Conjuration 5. So we're going to hit Conjuration 3 next turn. After that, it'll be several more turns to get 4 and 5, but with my, with my research going up by... Uh, this is 21 points per turn right now. Uh, I should be able to get it in relatively short order. So, we'll see. Cross your fingers, knock on wood. We'll see how well it goes. But, like I said, this army's going to take Sullian, then we're going to take Wood of Many Paths, then push up to Greendale. Uh, in the meantime, I'll, I've got some more troops coming. They'll go down there to grab Stinging Swamp. And I may also be able to get Jibero, but probably not. And we'll just see how it, uh, 
Algos, I'm actually going to go over there in case they attack this province. I'd like to see if they take it. Um, I'd also like to take Golem just because it's a lot of income. Um, and I desperately need income. Although not as, many, not as much as many other nations do, but mostly I need nature gem income. More nature gem income would be absolutely radical. But I just don't have it yet. So, that's the turn. More quick turns. Uh, turns are fast when you don't have troops or, in fact, mages. <laughs> as it turns out. So, I'll see y'all in turn 8. Alright, so turn 8, good news and bad news. Good news, found a wolf oak. So, another nature gem per turn, that's fantastic. Bad news, found Plagetopia. Uh, Plagetopia is pushing into my forest, which I cannot allow. So, I am going in to retake that province. Plagetopia, this is them. They have uh, Shackled Magi, so one random path. They have Ice Crafters, which do have a forge bonus and uh, Ice Forging, so they give resources in cold provinces. They have the Mage Pilot, who is a pretty decent mage by the standards of this game. They have the Newt, who is a Fire 1. They have the Hochmeister, who is potentially a thug if they can get any gear. And they have the Sun Priest, who is a Fire 2, who is their most powerful mage by far. Uh, also, their their base nation is a uh, middle-aged Satis, if I recall correctly, so they spread diseases and uh, murder people. Uh, they have ancient stone hurlers who are very shitty sacreds, Enkidu hornblowers, Zebulonite hornblowers, and Marverni hornblowers for all the hornblowing action you could possibly ever want. Of these, I would say probably the Marverni ones are the best if you can awaken their tattoos, but I don't think Plagetopia can, so they're all shit. Uh, they have Praetorian Guard, which are very bad troops for how expensive they are, but objectively speaking aren't terrible troops, uh, although they are old, which is a problem. Uh, they have Triarii, which are uh, actually worse because their long spear is a worse weapon, uh, and their like skills are less, like their defense skill is a lot lower. They have Battle Vestals, which are capital-only sacreds that suck, because they have no prot. And they have Hlisli, which are uh, Recruit Any Work sacreds that really suck. Uh, they're basically flagellants, but worse and stealthy. So, um, I think I can actually beat them with stink environments. Uh, they don't have any defense against poison. So, Castor is going to have to move over there. Uh, we've got more dudes having been recruited, but I can't like, use them right now. Oh my god, we have the Elephant Corps available for, for hire. Uh, 245 gold. Can I hire the Elephant Corps for 245 gold? Yes. I'll pay you all my money, Hannibal. All of it. Um, if I can get the Elephant Corps plus a bunch of stinking varmints, I should be able to take Solium pretty easily. But, yeah, I need to push uh, Plagetopia back and take these woods uh, for great justice. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna shove Tarpeia right in there and open up a can of uh, Poison Cloud all over these Praetorian Guard and Triarii. And that should be great. So, that's the whole turn. Uh, research speed is picking up. Uh, Conjuration level 3 probably still gonna take us like 5 turns. Maybe only 4 turns because we're going up by 16 plus. We finally got some magic over here, so that's 6 points over there. Did have a random event that gave me a bunch of death in Hydrangea, which sucks, but it'll be okay. And in Hexwoods, one of my mages was Shrunken, which fortunately doesn't, like, I really don't care about. Dido is just now a tiny organic farmer. Uh, good for her. Uh, Epione here is going to move... Uh, let's move up there with the rest of the force and uh, prepare to move into Wood of Many Paths. And that will be uh, my turn for now. We've got still got our six guys calling God, so sometime, probably about five or six turns, he'll pop up again, all happy and ready to uh, to trample the world beneath his glorious cloven hooves. So that's turn eight, and I'll see y'all in turn nine. Okay, folks, turn nine. So we took control of Wood of Many Paths with no resistance. In Hexwoods, we got plus ten province defense, which is actually... Really nice, because we have seen Noose's Pretender God. This is a Awakening Lad, the Oni Kunshu. Uh, Oni Kunshu, rather. And he is moderately scary. Um, basically, he's got high prot, high defense skill, and high hit points. So he's very difficult to kill with troops, if we even had troops that could kill him. On top of that, he's got uh, a couple different ranged attacks, and then uh, this enchanted spear melee attack. 
But the main thing about him is that his bless is awe. So, which means that he causes fear and awe, so he lowers enemy morale, and then he forces them to take morale checks before attacking them. He's designed for maximum tank, and he's doing a pretty good job. He's a pretty... he's a pretty damn good maximum tank thug for the early game. Um, in a late game, like, super combatant-ish situation against ma serious magic uh, opposition, he wouldn't make it, but in this game, uh, that's unlikely to ever happen. So, as we can see here... He chewed right through this province defense. He ends up with prot 24 after he casts stone skin. And then he chewed through these indies with no problem. They just can't hit him. And when they do hit him, he repels them with his enchanted spear, which has attack 24. And if he doesn't repel them, they don't hurt him any. So he wipes them all out, taking no HP damage. That's a problem. It's actually a pretty serious problem. Um, now, he's only size 4, so if I get Big Bill back... Big Bill can just trample the fuck out of him and could probably win in my Dominion. But for that, I need to get Big Bill back. I am making uh, Sui Pig here my prophet, and I'm moving Hector. Uh, instead of calling God, Hector is carrying out some uh, stinking varmints to join the troops in Hex Woods. And I'm doing that because I'm worried about this guy attacking me, trying to think of a way to kill him. Mass Poison Clouds is the only way I can think of. He does have Poison Resistance 5, but he doesn't have any nature magic, so we can't increase that poison resistance. So I might be able to get him. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Elephant Core. Uh, so that's sad. Uh, these troops are moving up into Wood of Many Paths. I'm also recruiting some archers. So I'll end up having, you know, all 30 of my stinking varmints up here. Tarpey is building a lab. I really, really, really don't want to lose Hexwoods. I very much don't want to lose Hexwoods. Um... If I can avoid losing Hexwoods by any means, that would be great. I don't know that I can, because I don't have any combat research yet. This guy right now could, probably, if he really wanted to, just walk in and besiege my capital and nothing would actually stop him. Until I called back uh, Big Bill. But, let's hope he doesn't know that. <laughs> Frankly, that's my strategy right now. My strategy is, let's hope he doesn't know that he could walk in and take over right now. Um... And let's hope he also doesn't know how close I am to Conjuration 5, which is not very. Um, I am, however, going to set all of these guys to retreat, or these ladies, rather, if attacked. So, if he pushes, they'll run away and survive, so that I can use them later, as opposed to just dying for no reason. Including Dido, the tiny organic farmer. So, uh, that's basically it. That's the turn. That's turn 9. And I'll see y'all in turn 10. Okay, it's turn 10. I was not assaulted by an Onikunchu, and this turn I am attempting the dreaded double expansion! Woo! Yeah, I know. Uh, turn 10, and I'm just now trying to double expand. Anyway, so I've got my, my 30 varmints, my 32 varmints, and a few random archers. They are going into Solian. Uh, depending on how many war elephants there are, this could be a terrible idea, but we'll see. Because, uh, like, if it's more than, I don't know, two or three, uh, they might just successfully trample through all of my Hydra Hatchlings before I manage to poison them to death, which would be a super sad and stupid way to lose a battle. But, you know what, we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, down here, I've got Pomona moving down to take out the Stinging Swamp, and in my capital, Sui Pig is casting Sounder of Boars. I know it costs a bunch of my Nature Gems, uh, which will take some turns to get back, but I feel like having uh, 20 boars right now uh, could be valuable. Could be worth while. I can also recruit another commander if I wanted to. Uh, or more scouts, but I'm, I'm rec now recruiting mages from three locations. I've got uh, organic farmers coming out here, here, and in the capital. So four per turn uh, at eight research points each, or in this case they're only... Five, but over here there's six, and here in the capital there... Uh, that's not the capital. Here in the capital there are eight. So my research should be ramping up pretty quickly, faster than anyone should expect at turn 10. Uh, I only have seven provinces though, so I desperately, desperately, desperately need more provinces, and especially I need more provinces that make money, hence Solian. Um, I'd also like to take Lomark. Lomark would involve heavy casualties, but I could potentially deploy the pigs. Um, if I sent Sui Pig and somebody else leading some other pigs, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to spend one turn recruiting another commander, and then I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to pig out Lomark. 
So let's see, this I'm skeptical of. This is kind of a high risk uh, attack. I don't know if it's gonna work. It might, I hope it will, but I don't know. Down here, I, I do have the advantage that stink environments are at least size three and they have a bunch of hit points, so they should be able to survive being trampled once or twice. And I think trample is blunt damage? I know it's armor piercing, but I don't know what damage type it is. It might be untyped. In any case, I'm hopeful that stink environments can survive being trampled at least once, and so that will give the poison more time to build up on the on the elephants and the more time to bite the elephants, and elephants also don't have great prot, so, you know, they should be able to do something. And then down here, I'm not really worried about this. I've got 10 units. I've included one random horned serpent. Uh, you don't need to summon more horned serpents right now. That's fine. Uh, horned serpents, incidentally, are highly poison resistant, so they're great units to mix in with my hydras. And uh, yeah, that should be just perfecto. I can forge berserker pelts if I wanted to do that, which of course I don't, because it's a terrible idea. Uh, and I can forge snake rings. At some point here, I will want to recruit uh, one of my farmers who can read, or a couple of them, and have them wander around site searching for earth. I just don't want to do it yet, because I'm still focused on ramping up the research, uh, like, you know, fast. Because right now my research is doing pretty good, and it's going to ramp up quite quickly. Especially if I can take Lomark, and then also get a lab going there. Um, I don't have anything like the treasury to start building uh, frivolous things like, you know, uh, fortresses or palisades. But I do have the money to build a temple, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a temple in Hexwoods. And then once Big Bill is back, Big Bill can actually wander around summoning fortresses with the Grow Fortress spell, if I can get a little bit more nature income scraped together. Uh, also, I have not yet managed to recruit a mage who has hit the randoms, which is sad, but alas, these things happen. So, that is the turn. That's turn 10. Uh, I've started to recruit scouts down here, which I always could have done, but wasn't because I'm dumb. And I'm also getting a random unit, one random unit in each of my provinces, just to ward off negative events, uh, bad feng shui, that kind of thing. So, I'll see y'all in turn 11. Okay, turn 11, our gambit has succeeded. We have taken both provinces. Stinging Swamp, we took no casualties. A Solium, we took only five. Only five casualties. That worked out actually even better than I was afraid it would. And what's interesting is that the elephants caused a ton of casualties. So I think what happened is, yeah, their morale is really low. I think as soon as they started taking damage checks, they just routed. See, look at that. So that elephant went down almost immediately. That one, these elephants are, yeah, and then the elephants routed. And they routed right through their own infantry, causing enormous damage. So fantastic stuff. And then they routed into their own slingers and got killed. And then everyone, uh, everyone ran away. So fantastic. Only lost a few of our varmints. We did cast Sounder of Boars, so we still have 51 uh, nature gems, plus 7 per turn. Definitely like to get more of those, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, Castor here is moving on with his his 30-some-odd units, his 27 stinking varmints, on to take Suthu, which unfortunately has Drain Dominion and somebody's enemy dominion in it. Uh, over here, we are moving. Sui Pig and Invicta are leading some Piggly Wigglies over to meet Kato, who will then, with Sui Pig, will lead them to take out Golm and capture all that delicious, delicious, fantastically high income uh, for moi. Uh, and research continues. Our research is now pretty, uh, pretty damn good. If we look at research, we can see that uh, our research has begun to accelerate and should continue to accelerate. Uh, we're at, you know, 138 per turn turn on turn 11, so we're doing all right. And we should hit that sweet, sweet conjuration level 5 in like, yeah, four, four more turns or so. So we are doing well, and that's about all for this turn, so I'll see you in the next one. All right, turn 13, and there's good news and bad news. The good news is we took Golm. The bad news is I fucked up my scripting, as often happens, especially when I'm kind of casually doing things in a hurry. Uh, Kato here, I think I had him on stay behind troops, but not on hold. So he charged into the poison cloud. So while my pigs were trampling, by the way, we can see here, 
Uh, I did Divine Bless these pigs. Unfortunately, it gave them poison resistance, but it didn't give them blood vengeance because Big Bill is currently a little bit dead. So, yeah, unfortunate that. In any case, they successfully trampled all the Lava Born real good. But, uh, in the process, Kato, having charged into a poison cloud and racked up a bajillion points of poison, uh, just absolutely died. Super dead. So, uh, I lost him, I lost 11 of my pegs, and unfortunately that means that all I have is Sui Pig over here. Um, and she can carry the animals, but she can't take the stinking varmints along with them because they will poison the pigs. The poisoned pigs don't do well. They'll also poison the horned serpents eventually, but it'll take a little while. So, Sui Pig is searching for magic sites. Magic, 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 magic. Uh, my research, uh, my research, I mean. I'm at 201 research points per turn, so it's going to take me three turns to hit Conjuration 5. I'll have it on turn 16. I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that by that time I will have Big Bill back. I've shifted Hexwoods over here to recruiting uh, farmer's husbands. So that I can uh, use them to research, uh, to use them to call God, rather. Um, farmers' wives, apparently, I they're not foreign recruits, so, but I would never need them anyway, except for disease healing. Actually, disease healing, that's a point, because I've got this girl over here who's dying of disease. Why don't I just hop on back this way, and whoo won't that be helpful? Yeehaw. Phantasmagorical. Great. I'm glad that I realized that I had that before I lost somebody for no fucking reason. Now, here's an interesting point. I've got Caster over here. He's been sitting here for a turn, uh, not really doing anything. And there's a province over here of Agraslingria. I could attack Agraslingria. I could attack Aku. Now, Agraslingria is a really fucking frightening uh, nation on account of having actual troops, and also actual mages. So, uh, fighting them just uh, on the, just like on the, at first, fighting them looks like a terrible plan. And they even have Jotun Militia, and Jotun Militia provide a significant counter to my hordes of pigs on account of being too large to trample. But that's why they'd never see it coming, right? No, that's stupid. <laughs> Agra Salaria, I could. I could just straight up uh, charge in and attack Agra Slingria, and ironically, uh, my hordes of Hydras would actually probably do pretty, probably do pretty okay, uh, until they started deploying mages who could cast spells, uh, especially nature spells, because nature spells have like animal charming spells uh, way on down the tree. What is it? Thaumaturgy? No, I think it's an enchantment. Uh, no, it's not an enchantment. Where is it? Uh, Rage of the Cornered Rat, which sends some of my animals mad. Ah, yes, Charm Animal at level 5. Uh, just straight up charms animals away, which is hilarious. Uh, Charm affects people. Uh, at high levels you have Beast Mastery, which Machakan Sorcerers can cast with the proper buffing. Um, which just straight up enslaves every animal, uh, AKA every unit I will ever be able to field, basically, is an animal. So, yeah, there's that. Um, that's actually an argument for taking Agra Slingria out early, though, it should be said. Um, I don't know where they are. They could be here. Or, I'm sorry, here. These are caves, actually. They wouldn't be there. But they could be... They must be fairly far away, I guess. I can see that is owned by somebody else, because I got random uh, Dominion here for no reason from a random event, which is cool. That's Nixtlan. So Agra Slingria must be... ish. Just judging by distances. Because everybody should be, you know, three provinces away from each other, roughly. Uh... Although, it is notable that Noose is actually has three provinces in between us. Oh uh, yeah, everybody has three provinces between them, so... Like, if we're up here, then we go boop, boop, boop. That would say that they're right here. That is a cave, which is interesting. I didn't think anybody really started in caves, but... Um, the other possibility would be to move down and go take these barbarians, which I think actually Castro is going to do. I want to take those barbarians out. They're a forest. I want forests. And I'm not super afraid of 
Swanpire taking them because Swanpire is Hatun Runa, and Hatun Runa are terrible at fighting barbs. So I'm gonna go down there, take that. I'll probably contact Swanpire and tell them like, hey, uh, don't take my woods, man. It's mine. But that will be for another turn. So that is turn 13. I'm sad that I lost my commander, dude. But things are going all right. Soon we will have Big Bill back, and then we will uh, proceed with our master plan to conquer the world by drowning it in pigs. So, until that time, thank you very much, and I'll see you in turn 14.